Escapology, the skill of freeing oneself from the confinement of such things as ropes, handcuffs and chains as a form of entertainment. In today's episode, we're looking into the unbelievable story of the Australian Escapologist, aka Magic Murray. Leo Norman Maureen Murray Stuart Carrington Walters, affectionately shortened to Murray, was born in 1901 in Melbourne, Australia. He had seen two famous magicians perform before he reached the age of 10, and he soon decided he wanted to do it for a living. The family moved to Sydney, and at 14, Murray began his very own magic career, performing small shows in the neighbourhood. In his late teens, Murray joined the Union Steamship Company, boarding the RMS Niagara to Vancouver, Canada, where he cut his work short and disembarked. Here, he performed several small shows, managing to scrape together enough money to sail from Vancouver to Seattle, America. He approached several theatrical agents, but found there was not much work at the time for a virtually unknown foreign magician. Eventually, he returned to his seagoing life, joining another ship, travelling to Singapore, India, and eventually South America. By day, he carried out his shipboard duties, but by night, while the ship was docked, he performed as Magic Murray in prestigious hotels such as the Raffles in Singapore and the Taj Mahal in Bombay, now known as Mumbai, before finally arriving back in Sydney. Over the years, daring escapes became more and more prevalent in Murray's shows. So much so that Murray had even changed his stage name to Murray the Escapologist. Armed with his new escape shell, he once again returned to ship life, where he worked on a ship travelling to Cambodia, Bombay, Cairo and Malta. At each port, Murray set up different challenges and daring escapes, something made popular by Harry Houdini years before. Using chains, leg irons, handcuffs and a number of other restraints, he kept the art of escapology fresh and original. Not to mention using his quick wit and colourful imagination to spin a good yarn. On Christmas Day 1925, Murray repeated a stunt he performed in Calcutta a few weeks earlier, when he dove off the Howrah Bridge secured in a straitjacket, 12 feet of chain and 6 pairs of leg irons. Murray was fulfilling his dream that he had harboured since childhood, to travel the world as an entertainer. Aged just 25, he had already been to Peking where he had successfully escaped after being chained to a railway track while the Shanghai Express travelled towards him at breakneck speed. And Phnom Penh, where the King of Cambodia enjoyed his sleight of hand so much that he offered him one of his 30 wives as a reward which Murray politely declined. His next stop was Kabul to perform for Amanullah Khan, the Emir of Afghanistan. Rumour has it the Emir set Murray a challenge enough to leave any escapologist shaking in their boots. The Emir showed him the most secure prison cell in his kingdom. If he could escape, he could keep the bag of 5,000 silver rupees that the Emir had left inside. If he failed, he would remain in the cell for the rest of his life. Allegedly, Murray took up the challenge and won. Murray became especially popular after the death of Houdini in 1926, and although Murray did a great deal to popularise the term escapologist, he is often wrongly credited with creating the phrase. It is likely he got it from a quote by Houdini from the Australian newspaper Darling Downs Gazette during Houdini's trip to Melbourne on the 11th of February 1910, when he said, if I might be allowed to coin a word, I would call myself an escapologist. Making his way back to England, Murray performed a UK tour, even performing at the famous Egyptian Hall in London. He gained fame and good publicity with his daring outdoor stunts, such as escaping from a straitjacket while hanging upside down from Blackpool Tower. Another spectacular escape of his, being secured inside a regulation mailbag with a parachute before being shoved out of an aeroplane flying over the Bristol Channel. In 1933, he had a metal box constructed. The box was riveted together and a hinged lid was fixed on the top. 
The climax of his stage show involved him being secured by members of the audience with handcuffs and leg irons packed in a canvas bag and then put in the large box by members of the audience who kept the keys. The Bombay Chronicle reported, the box was then moved behind a screen and within a couple of minutes, Murray appeared before the audience as free as a bird. Murray's success continued to grow thanks to touring almost continuously. He was performing at Berlin's Winter Garden when World War II broke out and fled Germany on a bicycle, leaving behind all his equipment. With Europe being engulfed by war, he traveled east, arriving in Bombay in October of 1939. Just as he had done years before, he once again made his way back to the Taj Mahal Hotel. He booked a room, conveniently forgetting to mention to the management that he was completely flat broke. Fortunately for Murray though, the bookings soon came rolling in and he was able to cover his hotel tab. Murray returned to India several times throughout his career, where he was billed as the man who has baffled the police of the world. Ill health forced Murray to retire from the road in 1954 and he settled in Blackpool, England. He opened a magic shop called Murray's Magic Mart on Cookston Street opposite the stage door of the Hippodrome. Many that visited the shop in later years would have no idea about the illustrious proprietor. But for the ones that did, his Magic Mart became a meeting place where they could drop by for a chat, listening to Murray recount fascinating stories of his life on the road. The tours, the travels, the near misses, the meetings with kings and queens, he seemed to have an endless supply of tales. The shop eventually closed down in 1987 and Murray, the escapologist, sadly passed away on the 22nd of January, 1988, aged 87. His memory still lives on and he's been immortalized by Blackpool Magicians Club who created an award in his name, the Murray Award, which is presented at the annual convention to honor the recipient for outstanding services to the Blackpool Magicians Club. And for distinguished dedication to the art of magic. And there we have it, the unbelievable story of Magic Murray, the Australian escapologist. As Murray used to say, talk about me good, talk about me bad, it doesn't matter as long as you talk about me. How about you? Would you have been brave enough to try any of his famous feats? Let me know in the comment section below and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. That's all we've got time for today, but I'll see you all next week and remember, stay unusual as usual. If you've enjoyed this video, you might like this one too. If you want to see more peculiar people, you can check out the full playlist by clicking here. Don't forget to ring that bell to make sure you don't miss out on next week's video. And if you have any ideas on what the next episode should be about, make sure you add it to the comment section below.